Hey there, and welcome back. Today I am back at the Southern Iowa Raceway. I'm here for another rallycross. Last time I was here, I brought my Datsun 280Z, but today I brought my Porsche 944. I did have some issues last time I rallycrossed it. Uh, my shift linkage was not working correctly, and the engine was not running very well either. I found out that it was not getting full fuel. The fuel line and the fuel filter were clogged. So hopefully that is fixed now. I also did a new shift kit and a short shifter kit. So the shifting should be good. I only had third gear by the end of all the sessions last time. We'll find out how it does today. I see there's some new faces and some rare faces. So that's good that you guys came back out. Um, we're all a friendly bunch here. If you're new or confused, anything, feel free to ask anybody for help. We'll be glad to help you. If you want to ride along because you're uncomfortable, anything, just let us know. We'll be glad to help you guys out. So, um, okay, so Rallycross. Uh, <clears throat> Obviously, we've got a bunch of cones up there. It defines our course. Um, your runs are cumulative. Every single run counts, gets added together for your end of the day scoring. So it, it's not like autocross where if you screw up and you go on the wrong side of a cone or something like that, you're done. You, that run's done and gets thrown out. No, you keep going and deal with the penalty, right? So um, we've got. Move. Fine. That won't be your Vanna White. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, we got stand-up cones out there. Uh, they're all worth two se a two-second penalty. If you mow this over, that's a two-second penalty. Here comes the first car. Right now, I am working corners, and I will be running after this group of all-wheel drive cars go. Then the front-wheel drive and rear-wheel cars will go out there. Let's let him uh, get a full run of the entire course to ensure timing's working, and then we'll run everybody back to back. One, three, one, one cone. I have the 944 warming up and I am ready to go out. Speaking of warming up, that's the one thing I am most concerned about today. I think I have the fuel and the shifter problems fixed, but it was 28 degrees Fahrenheit last time I was at a rally cross and this car was still getting a little hot. Today it is 69 degrees Fahrenheit, so heat might be a problem. Of course, these are all still runs just to work out the problems with the car, see what we need to change next, see what we need to upgrade. Well, let's start making some runs and see what happens. We we're making five runs today before we switch over to the other group, so I think we'll have a total of 10 today.
I just got done with my first run and unfortunately I think I still have some power issues. Maybe the tank is filled with some stuff and it's getting shaken loose uh, because this is a very, very rough track. And at the end of it, I was starting to run out of power again. So I still have a problem. power was cutting out a lot more that time so I definitely still have a problem uh, must be heat related I remember the car acting different at different temperatures the last time I had it out unfortunately this thing has driven just fine on the road but driving down the road does not push it to the limits like doing one of these events does so it, this is really hard to test Last round was just absolutely terrible. I'm gonna try letting the car cool down for much longer, as long as I really can. There's not a lot of cars in this run group, so I can't wait too long, but I'll let it cool down and see if it's any better, but it's been getting worse and worse. My fan just turned off, it's cooling down a little bit. I don't have high hopes, but we'll see what happens. back in the paddock those last two runs were absolutely terrible i had the heater core on just dumping heat inside the car the gopro that was inside the car turned off because it was too hot in there to run any longer on my last run i just lost complete power 
had to pull off. Once it cooled down a little, it was able to drive back to the paddock just fine. So I definitely think that this is a heat related issue, probably a sensor somewhere. If you know what sensor I should check, uh, please leave a comment in the comments below and that might help me troubleshoot this thing. It's so dusty, they have a truck out here dropping some water down, trying to help us keep the dust down. The track is watered down now. It really is pretty slick where they watered it. So the first group of cars that goes over this, probably at least for a couple laps, it's going to have a completely different surface than they had before. Okay, here comes the first car out on the wet surface. Does look like he's sliding around, not getting as much grip as he did before. Now this is much, much slower than before. Also, luckily, a lot less dust. This car was the fastest car, and you can see this car is going much, much slower than it did before. I'm back up again. I have decided I'm going to go out, make one or two runs. Hopefully when the car is cooled down like this, I'm not going to let it run any ahead of time this time. And hopefully I can get one or two actual runs before the car starts acting up. That was a lot better run. The trick is to keep the car cool. So I'm going to sit here, let the car cool down. I have the fans running. What? The, the time didn't count on your first one. Oh. You're gonna get reruns. Okay.
Well, that's it. I don't think the car is up to making any more runs. Unfortunately, I think the first run of the afternoon was my best run, but there was a problem with the timing and scoring, and so that run didn't count. And I really lost a lot of power on the second half of this last run, so I guess I'm done for the day. And again, if you had a Porsche 944 that was having the same problems as this one, please post your solution in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.